we are going to study four four uh, yeah four forces first force is tension okay next we'll study normal reaction next is spring force and the last one is friction this four forces we will be studying in this chapter i already told you what is this chapter about this chapter talks about the reason or the cause of the motion previous chapter what we saw was motion in a plane and motion in a straight line devika you will you are still uh, yet to learn motion in straight line so we will continue separately for you okay others yes, you have already studied uh, siddhi you will also yes, go ahead we will study this pritam you have already studied this chapter okay so this two chapters talk about motion i told you why there is a motion why if the body is at rest and there is a motion that means there is some external force there is some external force which is which is leading to this motion correct that means there is a state there is the the body's change of state is there change of state previously the body was at rest and now the body started moving that means from rest to motion it was the external force which is leading to this motion and in this chapter we will study about that and those are these are the forces and these are what type of forces contact forces what forces contact forces contact contact that means there is a contact unless the footballer kicks the football the football will not go it is not that god if you say no sir um, there might be ray, there might be some uh, wind that is different but unless the football is kicked by the footballer football will not go unless unless the uh, unless the driver presses the presses the uh, ex uh, accelerator the body will not go or the car will not move okay unless the bowler balls the ball ball will not move that means there is some external force and we have already seen the what we have just introduced what are the different type of forces correct right? just a minute huh? yes sir hello yes yarun yeah, okay okay you will have different you will have different uh, there are multiple uh, bills will be credited it is not the same one bill so wait for tuesday's file no no uh, wait 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 when the credit happened did you check the friday's file fifth of november no 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 that's okay you see the friday's file okay friday's file you have payment details file in that you check it in that you check it you will find you will be able to tally the amount okay yeah yeah, yeah. thank you okay sorry so we have already we have already introduced to the various forces okay and we will we will see more about that now clear so first we'll start with the we have already seen the free body diagram also i have explained we have seen the newton's first law of motion yes and now we will do various type of problems and for tension clear any doubts any doubts no sir no sir okay so now let's say let's say these are very very important guys it will come in your um, normal exam also and also in your uh, any competitive exam like Uh, neat or a triple e whoever is participating please see this way because there is various scenarios i will be teaching you and you will all understand any doubts please ask no even if a small doubt please don't keep it don't take it at home and there is a there is a uh, there is a uh, there are there is a body which is uh, to there is a body which is attached to a string and it is hung from the wall and there is another uh, another uh, string this thing body which is 5 kg so it is in like this that means there is a string which is holding 2 kg and four that means now we will understand we will try to calculate what is the tension in both the string we have already seen 
that tension will be different for different string correct or not this is a different string this is a different string so that the tension in this string and tension in this string will be different everybody agree with me yes sir so but if that if the if the ten, if the if there is the same string then it will be what the tension will be different tension will be same so if there a tension is different then we will mark it as t1 and then we will mark as t so because there are two different string clear now we have seen how to draw the free body diagram if i draw the free body diagram how the diagram will be the free body diagram will be one will be like this 2 kg okay and there is another body okay i am putting a t this is i am putting as t okay and the next will be okay now see now see why i wrote as 2g because whatever is the mass this is the mass basically and the weight will be 2 into g correct similarly this is the mass the total weight will be 5g correct everybody yes or no yes. what is weight weight is mass into gravity if mass is 2 kg then weight will be 2 into 10 20 kg 20 kg and this is the force that means this tension t is actually having this force also the weight due to this mass and weight due to this mass but this tension is only holding this weight so if i say i can write t1 as 5 into 9.8 correct and this t is holding this one and this one that means t equal to this tension and this kg so it will be 2 into 9.8 plus t1 everybody clear any any questions any questions clear sir that means this tension also and this weight also together so what is t1 first t1 will be let us take it as 10 let us take it for simplicity so t1 will be 50 and what will be the tension what is this tension value 50 plus how much 20 20 how much 70 everybody pritham clear devika yes sir is the most simplest simplest problem very simple problem everybody siddhi pritham swarup all yes sir clear yes sir okay. great now we will go to the next level this is very simple because it is you know per, it is exactly you know hanging vertically but let's say there is a small change i'll i will do a, another scenario where this is hanging like this there is a wall here and there is a string here and there is a mass like this here you have 5 kgs okay and this is at an angle what angle this is at 37 degree 37 degree and this will be if this is 37 this will be also 37 why this is like a two parallel lines and is a transversal so alternate interior angles correct interior angle and here is a wall so now here we have to calculate what is t so same here also strings are different we will we will consider this as t2 and this will consider as t1 correct so first now see this is t2 this is t2 okay now if this is t2 uh, this is at an angle that means it will have two components yes it will have two components one component will be in this direction and one component will be in this direction correct yes, yes or sir. no that means this will be the i told you the component which is which is here this will be t2 cos theta this will be t2 sin theta everybody clear 
How? Yes or no? What is theta? Theta is how much? Thirty-seven degree. So how the how the yeah? Sorry. Any doubts? So this will be T one, and this will be T two cos thirty seven, and this will be T two sine thirty seven. Now, now tell me, now tell me this force. The body is actually stable. The body is not moving. If the body is not moving, I told you, if the body does not move, if there is a force this side, there is a force this side. If the body is not moving, that means this force is equal to this force. Yes or no? So the net force, the net force acting on the body is equal to what? Zero. Yes. Yes or no? Yes. That means the body will only move if there is a imbalance forces. Let's say this is ten newton and this is eight newton. The body will move this side. If the body is more this side, the body will move this side. Since the forces are balanced, that means the the forces are the net forces is zero. Similarly, if the this mass is not moving, the mass is stable here. That means this tension for force is equal to this one. That means T one is equal to T two. Sine thirty-seven degree. Clear. Clear. Yes or no? Yes, sir. So what is what is sine thirty-seven? Remember the remember the triangle which I told you. Remember the triangle which I told you. Siddhi, what is sine thirty-seven? Three, four, thirty-seven. This is fifty-three. So this is five. So what is sine thirty-seven? B by H or P by H? P by H. Yes. That means three by five. Correct? Yes or no? Yes. And what is cos thirty-seven? Four by five. So T one will be T one will be T two into three by five. Correct? Yes or no? But we don't know T two. How to find T two? Now. This force is actually considering the weight of this mass. So, what is the weight of this mass? Five into ten. That means this component, the component, the vertical component of this tension is actually balancing the gravity because the weight is not falling down. The weight is stable here. So, there are four forces. One force this tension, one force this this one, one is this component, and the last component is the weight. That means T two cos thirty seven is equal to the weight of the body. That is five into ten fifty. So what is T two? T two into four by five is equal to fifty. So what is T two? How much? Fifty into five by four. Correct. Yes or no? So two fifty by four. So this is equal to T two. Now substitute the value here. What is T one? Two fifty by four into three by five. So how much it will be? Fifty. So hundred fifty by four. Did you get? Did you get the value? Did you get the value? So what is T one? T one we got approximately. If you divide it by five three is a Four three four three is a twelve, yes. So four three is a twelve, then twenty four seven is a twenty. Sorry, four three is a twelve to three, thirty. So four seven is a twenty eight. So thirty seven point five newton is T one. And what is T two? T two will be how much? Approximately sixty two point five newton. Any doubts, guys? No sir. Pritham, clear? Yes, sir. I think we did this problem only, no? Sim similar, similar to this problem. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All of you, clear? Devika. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Clear, no? Yes, sir. Okay, great. Now. Let us do one more problem. Please note down. If you are you have not noted down, please take five minutes and note down. Note down the problem.
who are yet to wrote, write down please confirm if you have written down we'll continue ahead sir i am writing sir yeah yeah write down Shall we go ahead? One second, sir. Sir, I have a doubt, sir. Always the tension acts. It always acts upward, sir. Upward? Ah, uh? which upward? No. no, it's a component. No, it's a component, right? This is this triangle. You should consider. It has t to cos theta. This will be t or sin theta. The this the this if the, if you consider this triangle, this is the vertical component of the triangle and this is the horizontal component. Yes, sir, like my doubt is like, uh, can you like mark where the tension acts or exactly? Your the voice t is not to... clear, Pritham. Uh, there is some uh, aberrations. So now is it clear? Yeah, now clear. Tell me. So no, sir. Like I asked, whether like, can you mark where the T to exactly acts? Okay, okay. Wait. Let me redraw, and you will understand. The figure is like this. This is T two. This is T one. Understood? So this is the angle. So ideally, the T two should have been straight, but it is at a angle, thirty seven degree. Okay. So this is T two sine. So if this is T two, this is the angle. So if you draw a parallel line here, this is also thirty seven degree. Why? You know, right? Very well. This angle is equal to this angle. Alternate interior angle. No, sir. Like, can you? Can you? It is same actually. So this way also you can write, or this way also you can write anything. But we'll say like this. Okay, sir. But this is pulling it, no? This is also pulling it. Both are tight. Yes, sir. So this will be T two cos thirty seven, and this will be T two sine thirty seven. So there are four forces. This force, this force, this force, this force. This is weight. This is T one. This is T two horizontal component, and this is T two vertical component. All the four forces are actually this force is equal to this force, this force equal to this force. That's why the body is at stable. It is not moving here and there. Clear? Yes, Clear? Sir. No. One second. Yes, sir. And I'll just copy that question. Sir. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. So next we'll go to the next type of question. So find the tension. So this is T one. This is T two. Shall you try? Can you try this? If you if you just try, take five minutes. Try. If you don't understand, I will explain. 
Take five minutes and try to understand. So Same here. Tension. tension. You have to find tension. Okay. What is the value of T1 and the value of T2? Okay, sir. All of you try yes, just try try to do same component, break into components, okay? Try to balance, try to balance the forces, and and then you try to make an equation. Same thing, whatever we did. Students, uh, I think ten minutes, ten minutes it'll it'll uh, it'll um, stop off. So we will uh, rejoin. Okay. Sir, what is the mass? Sir, root, root two kg. Sir. Root two kg. If this stops, you can again rejoin in the same link, same password, okay? Devika and Soru will give the answer first. Yes, Devika Swarup. First Devika, ah, Devika Swarup. and Swarup. Yes. We want to know that how he or she <coughs> understood this equation. Yes, very good. Devika? Yes, ma'am. Haan. Sir, ne ho sign 37 likha hai, 3 upon 5. How it comes? Sin 35 is equal to 3 upon 5 in given triangle. By the triangle, ma'am, sir, is given op opposite side. We have to count and we will get. Ha, so, sin, sin 37 is, it is the trigonometry. Last year, we <coughs> learned it. Yes, ma'am. Ah, so opposite side upon hypotenuse. Yeah, so opposite side by hypotenuse or else I, I consider as perpendicular by hypotenuse. So which yes. is perpendicular? This one. Okay. So 3 by hypotenuse. Correct? Yes or no, Devika? Yes, sir. Great. In same manner, what is the cost 37? Ma'am, cos 37 is 3 upon 37. Cos 37. Ma'am, you are asking the value. Hmm. Yes. Ha, <laughs> yeah. In this cost triangle, 37. what is cos 37? Saru? Saru? Yes, ma'am. Ah, cost 37? Ma'am, 4 by 5. 4 by 5. Good. <coughs> Devi ka, yeh trigonometry ka sum hai. Trigonometry yaha use kiya hai. Mai hamesha bolti hu, physics and maths are cousins. 
एक दूसरे के ऊपर डिपेंड है बहुत सारे हम मैथ्स के फॉर्मूले फिजिक्स में यूज करते हैं थोड़ा लास्ट ईयर का तुम थोड़ा सा देखो सब फिजिकल टर्म इक्वेशन आइडेंटिटीज यूनिट ऑफ ऑल फिजिकल टर्म्स वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फिजिक्स फिजिक्स मैथ्स मैथ्स के बिना फिजिक्स नहीं पढ़ सकते बेटा राइट यस मैम हाँ एंड कॉल मी आफ्टर यूर सेशन आफ्टर दिस सेक्शन लेक्चर यस मैम ओके ओके स्टूडेंट्स टेल मी फास्टर व्हाट द वैल्यू यू गॉट वन सेकेंड सर आई एम डूइंग सर या सिद्धि आ रहा है सर आई एम ट्राइंग ट्राई 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 बट डोंट क्राई फंडामेंटल्स बेटा ऑल फंडामेंटल्स वॉट एवर वी लर्न यूज द सेम ट्राई टू ट्राई टू बैलेंस ट्राई टू बैलेंस दी फोर्सेस टेंशन वेन एवर देर इज अ टेंशन एट एन एंगल it will have always two components break the components and you got the answer that's it so i got t1 is equal to 5 root 2 newton and t2 is equal to 5 root 6 very good c now this t1 this t1 will have one component here and one more component here this will be t1 t1 cos cos or sin sin yes or no this will be t1 mm. sin 30 yes, and this will be t1 cos 30 correct similarly this one will have T two sine sixty and this side T two cos sixty and weight also is a force so root two into ten so now you will have four forces T two sine thirty yes madam in logon ko ये टी टू साइन वहां साइन क्यों आ रहा है ये नहीं समझा मुझे नहीं पता समझा? है ये स्वरूप ओके ओके स्वरूप कैसे है पता है देखो हाँ अभी देखो पूछो हाँ ये ट्राइंगल देखो सी दिस ट्राइंगल ओके ना हम लोग ने क्या करेंगे मुझे बताओ व्हाट इज ओके देखो व्हाट इज साइन थर्टी व्हाट इज साइन थर्टी साइन थर्टी विल बी परपेंडिकुलर बाय Hypotenuse, yes or no? Yes. This perpendicular. Let's say this perpendicular is P. So P. Yeah. Mahesh ji, unko ye bolo. Trigonometry ka opposite side upon hypotenuse. Okay, okay, okay. ठीक है. They will clear. Okay. हाँ. Opposite this side. This term is always used. Yeah. Opposite side by hypotenuse. Correct? Angle ka opposite side kya hai? Ye hai. So opposite side by hypotenuse. हमको इसका वैल्यू निकालना है ये वैल्यू इज इक्वल टू ये वैल्यू समझ आया आपको तो ये वैल्यू क्या रहेगा व्हाट इज ऑपोजिट साइड देन ऑपोजिट साइड विल बी साइन थर्टी इंटू एच यस यस और नो एंड व्हाट इज एच एच इज टी वन सो दिस साइड इज इक्वल टू टी वन साइन थर्टी तो इसका वैल्यू टी वन साइन थर्टी आया अभी कॉस थर्टी ले लो कॉस थर्टी क्या है बेस बेस बाय हाइपोटेनियस सो बेस बाय हाइपोटेनियस क्या है टी वन है तो इसका वैल्यू क्या आएगा इसका वैल्यू क्या आएगा बेस क्या होगा टी वन इंटू कॉस थर्टी 
तो इसका इसलिए इसका वैल्यू टी वन कॉस्ट थर्टी आया समझ में आया स्वरूप समझ में आया सिमिलरली yes, ये ट्राइंगल में भी ऐसे ही आएगा तो अभी अभी उनको पूछो अभी उनको पूछो महेश जी हाँ बताओ ये करके बताओ हाँ हाँ बोला एंगल सिक्सटी की एडजेशन साइड कौन सी है स्वरूप देवी का इन गिवन ट्रायंगल टी टू इज हाइपो बट सिक्सटी एंगल का एडजेशन साइड एक एक दो और महेश जी इनको दे दो तब इनका कंसेप्ट क्लियर हो जाएगा यस 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 ये बोला कराएंगे गाइस एक बार काम करो ज्वाइन कर लो सब फटाफट अभी मीटिंग में बंद कर रहा हूँ ज्वाइन